Welcome back everybody. In just one month, you'll be able to grab an ice cold Pabst in the Pabst Brewery restaurant. It's set to open on uh, 414, April 14th, also known as Milwaukee Day. Today, we get a sneak peek. The Pabst Milwaukee Brewery sits on Juneau Avenue in the heart of the original brewing complex. It's located inside a historic 144 year old building that was once a German Methodist church. Upstairs is the restaurant that can seat almost 90 people. Just look up and see the giant neon pap sign. Downstairs is where all the brewing takes place. We've got about uh, capacity to run 4,000 barrels a year, um, and we can have up to 250 barrels of beer in process at any one time. The brewers will be making historical brews like the Pabst Andecker and Old Tankard Ale, but they'll also try some new brews like the Northeast IPA. It's a newer style, a cloudy, uh, IPA with uh, really tropical juicy hops. They won't brew Pabst at the brewery, but they will have it on tap. A neat feature not many people will get to see is hidden in the boiler room. And I think it's really cool to have, and I think that just goes to show the attention to detail that we are going to have a boiler, a Pabst beer can boiler in a room that no one's going to see unless we open the door to show them. When the weather warms up, people will be able to enjoy a cold brew in the beer garden, just steps away from the restaurant. The Pabst Milwaukee Brewery is a new take on the historic place that made Milwaukee famous. It's really, really exciting, not just for me, but my whole family is excited for me. <laughs> I remember the day they announced the Pabst was shutting down. It's good to see part of it at least coming back to life. The restaurant's finishing up hiring. They need 30 or 40 employees. No menu set just yet, but they say it will be upscale gastro pub. They want to impress both the average Joes and the foodies out there at the same time.